Nuclear terrorism is a growing threat as more extremist organizations get closer to obtaining materials for a bomb. So what can we do about it? Another day at a European border checkpoint. Radiation detectors raise the alarm. A truck is searched. Now what could be the reason why someone would conceal military-grade uranium in the bags of naturally radioactive fertilizer? If there's a buyer, then you have a market and you can make a lot of money. Then maybe there's the intention to carry out a terrorist attack. They can use the material to make a dirty bomb, an atomic bomb or something else. The investigation begins. Clues like the contacts on the driver's mobile phone lead to an address where the operation was planned. At the crime scene, nuclear forensic teams use special equipment and expertise to gather evidence. We look for two things. We look for the presence of radioactive material to see if there are any and if there are uh, radioactive materials, we have to take measures in consequence. And then we look for uh, traces of uh, classic forensics, like DNA, blood, hairs, and so that we can trace back who was working here and who is uh, essentially to catch the bad guys. So how much can we learn from a small sample of a radioactive material? The experts at the Joint Research Center Institute for Transuranium Elements in Karlsruhe use highly sophisticated instruments such as this mass spectrometer to find out where the radioactive material comes from. We only need a few tens of particles and then on each individual we will do precise isotopic measurement. And that will tell us uh, what type of material it is. Perhaps it's just natural uranium, perhaps a fuel material, perhaps it's weapon material. We will see. These measurements need to be combined with other techniques such as microscopy that reveals the distinctive structure of the confiscated material. We trace the origins in an attempt to determine the manufacturing process, take powder or the fine structure of some tablets. We check the grain size and forms inherent in the morphology. Even minute details such as certain impurities in the radioactive material can be detected to pinpoint the factory of origin. We know the people using different techniques so we can always ask advice because one person cannot know everything him or herself so that's why we need the help from colleagues from nuclear fuels or material science who can uh, contribute also to the nuclear forensic investigations. In the past 20 years, these atomic detectives have examined about 50 cases. So is the threat rising or is it decreasing with time? Hmm, that's a very difficult question. The cases that we see that get reported are just the tip of the iceberg. In this respect, I'd like to quote a former IAEA Director General who said, we don't know what we don't know.